Hello, I am Shivani and welcome you all to the Sense Independence. So let's begin with today's talk bulletin. Gautam Gambhir reached Delhi candidate in Lok Sabha 2019. Cricketer turned politician Gautam Gambhir with assets worth Rs 147 crore turned out to be the richest of all 349 candidates for the Lok Sabha election in the national capital. Rohit Shekhar's wife arrested for his murder. As per the sources, the police crime branch was waiting for the forensic report to solve the mystery behind Shekhar's unnatural death. The police had said the unsuspected person from inside the house were behind the killing as no sign of forceful entry was found. Shekhar's wife was detained on Sunday along with two domestic helps in connection with Shekhar's murder. India sent three alerts to Sri Lanka before the attack. The last alert was sent hours before the suicide bombers attacked the three churches and four hotels. According to reports, Sri Lankan Prime Minister acknowledged that India gave us the intelligence but there has been a lapse on how we acted on that. The information about the attacks were a result of delayed analysis of information gathered through technical means and human resources. This is the one thing I want to do after my retirement, says PM Modi. Polygon actor Akshay Kumar on Wednesday morning sat down for a non-political chat with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. From asking him if he likes mangoes, why he sleeps for only 3.5 hours, to whether he misses his mother as he stays away from her to serve the nation. Akshay had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with PM Modi. PM Modi told Akshay Kumar that his body clock has become such it won't allow him to sleep for long. This is the one thing that he intend to do after his retirement. He will explore how to get more sleep. Bumper job at TCS and Infosys. Vacancies increased by 350%. There has been a controversy over the data coming on the employment front and the government has also had to be the victim of the criticism. But in the meantime, good news has come out from the private sector, especially the IT sector. Recruitments of two major IT companies have increased by 350%. Share market starts strong as sensors crossed the mark of 38,670 points. On the third trading day of the week, the Indian stock market had a fantastic start. Sensors gained 108 points to open at 38,672.63 level. At the same time, Nifty also crossed 36 points and crossed the level of 11,600. In the first few minutes, the Sensex rose to 150 points. Twitter has appointed Manish Maheshwari as the MD of Indian operations. Last year, Taranjit Singh resigned as the country's director of Twitter India. After this, the interim responsibility of the post was given to Balaji Krish. Twitter said in a statement that Manish Maheshwari will take on new responsibility from April 29 in the position of MD. Chennai Super Kings beat Sunrisers Hyderabad by 6 wickets. In the 41st match of 12th edition of IPL 2019, Chennai Super Kings defeat Sunrisers Hyderabad by 6 wickets. Prior to the match, Chennai won the toss and decided to field first after the Hyderabad bat first and scored 175 run with the loss of 3 wickets in 20 over game and to chasing the target Chennai won the match in the last second ball. Today Royal Challengers Bangalore will face Kings 11 Punjab. Virat and team hopes are alive to be in the playoff in the season of 2019. Today in the 42nd match of the 12th season of Indian Premier League 2019 will be played between Bangalore and Punjab at Chinna Swami Stadium. After so long RCB in the form and they don't want to lose this match, their eyes on the third consecutive win to make hectic in the season. Karan Johar and Kajol laugh their heart out at the Kapil Sharma show. Two special guests coming on the Kapil Sharma show in an upcoming episode. They are two best friends in Bollywood, Karan Johar and Kajal. The Kapil Sharma show is a comedy and a talk show broadcasted by Sony Entertainment Television. That's all from today's Top Bulletin. Stay tuned with us to stay tuned with the world. Thank you.